Hello, this is Samuel from Action Figure Fury, and today I bring you the Higher Toys AVP Celtic Predator and the Battle Damage Celtic Predator. The reason I decided to review these two figures together is basically because they're the same character, but two different variants of him. Obviously, this is the uh, Celtic Predator at the beginning of the film, uh, before they enter the temple, and obviously this uh, Battle Damage version is from towards the end of his life uh when he ba i believe he battled grid alien and lost because i remember uh, a while ago necker released a two pack with um, the this bound damage celtic prey obviously seven inch we had came with grid alien came with the net and everything else and it's quite similar to this one you, you'd see when, when you um there on the video you would definitely see uh why they're the same um uh, these, both of these figures look absolutely uh, fantastic. Like with the Chopper Predator, I am very impressed with how much detail Higher Toys managed to pack into these these four inch scale predators. It's absolutely incredible. I have never seen so much detail put into such an affordable line of, of about three and three quarter inch, four inch figures before. I've never really seen it before at an affordable price point because these here in the UK range from between 20 and 30 pounds, which is incredibly reasonable uh, for these figures. And um, well, a very good price, how much do you they pack in? And I'm really, really surprised surprised how good they look i'm still I've had these had these for a few days and i'm still very much astounded by how good they are it is absolutely incredible higher toys should really uh be pleased themselves with these because these are absolutely fantastic figures uh firstly i'll bring in the celtic predator and i'll bring in the uh bad damage variant um obviously um as you know, the uh, AVP Predators was considerably larger than the um, Predators that we've seen in the, in the previous films, even more like uh, football, American football player builds. And I really do like the designs from the film, and I'm glad, yeah, and I'm really happy with the results of how uh, Higher Toys are able to replicate that design into a four inch scale Predator figure. It's absolutely incredible with all the detail you can see here, it's, it's simply astounding. You can see all the, uh, the sort of details in the bio mask, the armor, this the uh, trophy necklace, all the um, armor pieces, and the closed shuriken, and all these pouches and all sorts. Really, really well detailed. Only again, my only gripe with these is, aside from the scar, is they don't come with their shoulder cut, shoulder plasma cannons. Uh, then I can understand why they didn't do those because they didn't really get them until they entered the temple. And um, I know Celtic Predator. I mean, um, Scar comes with his one because obviously they're re reusing that figure multiple times, which is understandable for different looks. And uh, plus, he's he's the main predator of the film. Really, these two um, get get killed off not too quickly, mind you. I know Kel I know. Uh, uh, what's his chopper predator does, but um, Celtic, you know, dies a bit later on. But overall, the detail in this figure is absolutely astounding. And one detail I do love, if I know, it shows this off, is that the claw, the um, wrist blades, they can come in and out, which I'm really surprised they they've managed to pull off at the four inch scale. They can't. That's furthest in. You can pull them. You can't go in too far. They're they're look they're they're not too fragile. I can't push them in any further than that. I'm trying. I can't push anymore. But you can pull them out a bit, which is awesome. I didn't think they would have to do that at a four inch scale, and I'm very happy they they were able to pull that off. That does look absolutely fantastic. I do love the wrist blades. It's quite st like the necker ones. They're quite sturdy and quite firm, which is really really good to really like to see. Just putting them back in there. Really really cool. Um, obviously they have different wrist armors. Um, I think this one, he has a net launch. This is supposed to be a net launcher, I believe. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but I think that's a net launcher. And he has the same sort of, um, sh sort of sh uh, uh, shin pads here, or shin guards here, which is really, really cool. He's got the ceremonial dagger, which is removable, which I've, um, which I managed to remove on all the predators, which is awesome. Really, really nice. Yeah, I just let you soak it in, soak it all in. The detail in this figure is absolutely immense. Really, really nice. Really happy with it. The detail is just simply astounding. And before I go into the accessories and articulation, I'll show off the um, battle damage version because they're quite similar, and they come with uh, the same accessories as well. So I think I'll cover him. I'll do the articulation when it comes to him. His articulation is the same as well. 
as is the accessories. Uh, only problem I have is a bit of a pickle trying to put the figures on the bases. I just have a little bit of difficulty with it. But I've got them on there now. Looks absolutely awesome. Really happy with these. Um, this is the battle damage version. I know this is when he fights Grid Alien and loses. And I do like that they've um, did a battle damage variant. Which is really, really nice. Because the only way, only other version, only other battle damage version of Celtic you could get is the NECA one. And that goes for really, really pricey money now in the secondary market. That two pack is very expensive. So I'm glad I was able to get a battle damage variant in a difference of Celtic Predators. Because I really did dig. I really did love the design of Celtic, so I'm very happy to have this uh, bound damage version. Uh, the differences on the front, as you can definitely see, he's got the um, claw marks on the on his helmet, the slashing claw marks from the alien when he battled. I'll have to really see the film again because I know he got slashed, but I can't exactly remember. I know it's in his battle, but I can't remember the exact moment. He, also, another difference, which I do love, they able to do is he's got his claws reversed. And I think they're meant to be. Uh, they don't come out like the other one. I'm not sure because they're broke. They're not they're broken or not. I'm not too sure. Um, in the film, I'm not too sure if they broke or not. But they don't come out. But I do love the attention to detail with the acid damage because I know he reversed some. Because these um their extendable wrist blades are quite unique, as in they can reverse. So you can see these ones are upside down. They they were they, they were able to do in the film, and they've got a tiny bit of acid damage. On the front there, which are on the top tip of the claws, which I really do love how they've done that. That is incredible. I'm really, really impressed with that. Um, also, at the front here, you can see. Zoom in there, you can see the deep, um on there. He got some pock marks where the um, alien's foot and also half of his chest arm is missing as well. And gone is the um, the um, trophy necklace. That's all. That's gone as well. But the arm is still on the back. Um, it should be noted that both of these predators, like um, Chopper, have a little thing here at the back of the figure. You can, can if you're quite clever and careful, you can put the little um, um, the closed combi stick here. But unfortunately, with the battle damage version, the, the um, the gap between is very, very thin, so it's not possible to get it in at all. I was able to do it with the normal version, but it's not possible with this one, unfortunately. Uh, that's not too much of a big deal, because I usually have the um, combi stick in his hand here. I'm just going to put the uh, wrist blade, I mean the um, ceremonial dagger with the serrated edges back in there. Really, really impressed how they managed to pull it off, and then they've given him, they've given them the sheaves as well, and they can pull out, which is awesome um the way of accessories as you can see here i've got the the um chopper but i'm um, sorry celtic with his co extended combi stick in hand uh, they do come with as well put them back there if i get him to stand he wants to stand he just oh ah, shoot ah, hold on Yeah, he's on there now. I think. From I have them, sometimes they tend to not get on their um, pegs properly, which is a bit of a bit of a shame. But once you get them on there, they do look great. Um, the way of accessories, you can see the predators come with their combi sticks, um, extended well. Comes with his combi stick. I'll just take it out of the bow damage hands because the accessories are near and nigh the same. Um, yeah, this is the combi stick, the extended version. Really impressive how much paintwork is in this thing, especially at this scale. It's just immense, really. It's um, really, really, really impressive. Just trying to get the camera to focus. It's proving to be a bit of a pain if I bring it closer to the camera. Doesn't want to focus on it for some reason. That's a little bit better. 
There we go. Oh, just had it just then. And he's fallen over. Damn. Um, look, I mean, you can see the detail on this is absolutely great. You've got the tipped here, um, spear tips here, little blades here, a little gold and silver paint. Really, really nice. Holds it one's hand because their hands are made of a soft, pliable plastic, so you can easily get these uh, spears into their hand, combi sticks in hand, with no problem whatsoever. They also come with, I'll get Celtic up in a minute, they also come with a closed version, which can go on the back. If you're very careful, you can do that. These look really good as well. Again, really good amount of paint detail on here. It's really, really impressive. Just doesn't want to focus today. There we go. That's really, really impressive. You can see all the fine detailing there. Really, really good. Of course, as well, I'll pick him up. He also comes with the um, serrated edged um, ceremonial dagger, which is the same exact same weapon that came with Chopper Predator. And that fits into the leg sheath just here. Works really, really well. So I'm going to put them back on there. They also come with interchangeable hand. Um, also come with the um, throwing shuriken. As well, which is great. I'm just trying to get them to stand. Um, yeah, they come with a throwing uh, disc shuriken. Throw, smart disc shuriken. I think they're shurikens in this film. But I know in the previous one they were smart discs. Um, I know Wolf Predator uses these as well. In um, AVP Requiem. There we go. Look at the detail on that thing. Absolutely incredible. Again, the hands are very hold, easy to hold. The hands are finally very easy because they're made of soft pliable plastic. And these fit in there very nicely. Quite nice and sturdy, which is nice to see. Really, really happy we have these turned out at such a small scale. Again, Chopper Predator came with this as well. They also come with interchangeable hands, and as I'm looking at them right now, I believe the interchangeable hands are exactly the same uh, on both Chopper, uh, I mean, both on, both on these versions, they come with the exact same hands. So you've got more splayed open hand here. Does not want to focus today. He's got some more splayed open hand. And he's got a more sort of slight gripping hand. I'm not too sure what this is more of a relaxed hand. So I'm not too sure what that hand will be used for. They also come with their bases, which they're standing on with the uh, connectors, which I haven't done with these, but they do come with them, which is very, very nice. So you can get the um, the three brothers on display together, once you've got all three, uh, which is really nice. Same base before, so I'm not um, be talking about them. And the way of articulation, I will bring... Over, bring forward uh, Battle Damage Celtic, uh, Celtic or Cel Celtic or Celtic. He's got a ball jointed head, so the head goes up, goes down, goes side to side, left to right. The head doesn't get in the way because it's nice, soft, and pliable. So that's really, really good. Um, he has ball jointed shoulders, which are not hindered by the uh, shoulder armor at all, which is great. So it can go up, forward. Backwards, obviously, it would run into this if you go all 360 on it, but I'm not too sure why you want to do that. He's also got a um, bicep swivel, so you can turn it at the bicep really well. A double jointed wrist, um, um, double jointed elbow, sorry, double jointed elbow goes up that far, really nice. Um, this has a swivel because he's all loose, and the hands on the board joints, so you can turn it around, they can get them in a little bit out as well. It's really nice to see. The chest articulation is great because we've got a, um, a board joint up here and it goes really well. It's going forward a little bit, backwards quite a lot. Really nice. You can rotate it, tilt it. Nothing nothing really. It's got a waist swivel, but it's very, very tight. But I'm not going to really use that, so it doesn't bother me too much. The legs go a bit forward. It goes forward that far. Backward, it runs into the armor, so it doesn't really go back that out far. Uh, out goes quite a bit. You can also swivel there as well. There's no um, there's no cut there. It just swivels at the ball joint. You can swivel, turn, rotate it there. It's got double jointed 
knees, so he can go way, way back, which is impressive for a four-inch scale figure. And he has a ball-jointed ankle, so he can go down, he can go up a little bit, but again, it's slightly hindered by the um, shin armour, which is not really a problem, uh, problem at all for me. Overall, the articulation, both of these figures have the exact same articulation, and it works very, very well for this scale. It works absolutely incredible. I am very impressed with the pair of these. I'm very, very happy to have a uh, Battle Damage Celtic Predator in my collection, because um, I do love, like I said before, I really do love the design of Celtic. So, um, I know I keep pronouncing it differently. I'm not too sure um, which way is the right way to pronounce it. But I'm very, very happy with having the Celtic Predator and his um, battle damaged variant as well. Um, next time we'll be reviewing the Big Chap Alien and the um, Scar Predator. I'm reviewing them not because, um, well, Big Chap Alien, Big Chap Alien is from Alien and um, Scar Predator because he was the main Predator from AVP and the one that survived till the end. So I'll be reviewing him. Um, Probably they'll be reviewing them tomorrow separately. Um, overall, I'm very, very happy with these um, masked AVP Predators. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing the unmasked version of Scar and the final battle version of Scar as well, where he's got the Queen's tail you know, impaled through him. And I'm really excited to see the Wolf Predator as well from AVP Requiem. I'm very keen to see what else they do with... Um, the, well, the Aliens and Predator license you know, for these four-inch scale figures. I know they've done figures from Predator, Predator Two, and uh, Predators. I'm not too sure if they'll ever tackle the Predator. The Predator that'd be pretty cool. I wonder if they'll ever go into um, the Kenner stuff. I'll be very curious to see what they do with it. But overall, I am very, very happy with these figures. I cannot recommend them highly enough. They are fantastic. If you're a big fan of the Predators and the designs of the Predators and AVP. These are definitely well worth getting. They're such incredible figures for such a small scale. I'm in absolute awe of them. They are amazing. Cannot recommend them enough. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. There's more to come, and bye for now.